My name is Anne Johnstone. I'm a mixed media painter. I paint in collage, acrylic, and wax. I choose um, supermarket circulars for my collage because I love the sensuality of the fruits and vegetables. The way I see into the collage begins an image, and when I get to a point where the image has begun to have life of its own, then I put wax on, and all of this is a process of covering something up, pulling the cover off, reimagining it. I love color. And the mark making involved in putting down that color, the tactility of it has a lot to do with how I relate to the painting when it's finished, and I think how other people relate to the painting also. I listen to jazz a lot when I'm doing my artwork, and I feel like the improvisation and the spaces in between notes, they seem to me to have a lot in common with this element of the seen and the unseen in my work. The seen and the unseen is all the same process, actually, but the unseen has to do more with feelings that are difficult sometimes, emotions that are difficult, and the seen has to do with what I'm showing, what I think I'm showing to the world. Uh, the heart of my emotional vulnerability has to do with a tremor that affects my hands. It's something that I've spent the greater part of my life trying to hide from people. It's related to a trauma that involved my father and his expectations about me being the best student that I could be and being in the best classes but it's made me feel like all my life that if people saw that my hands shook, they would think me incompetent. You know, my only response is pretty much abject shame and embarrassment. I've noticed that in my artwork, as I allow my unconscious mind to guide my, my mark making and my image making, that people respond very positively. So. My artwork kind of vindicates <laughs> this vulnerability that I have. In working with it in my artwork, I'm kind of appealing to people, to the public, to my viewers, to feel what, what makes them uncomfortable about themselves, what makes them uncomfortable about themselves when they're with other people. You know, I play around with the idea of a mask as something powerful, uh, a powerful image that we um, project onto, onto other people and onto, onto life. And I play with masks as a way of hiding your feelings, hiding the truth from other people. I think that sometimes it's not my job to just to make sense of, of what's happened. Sometimes it's just to look at it and take it for what it is. I think my imagination is just one that would play with real elements and distort them to the point where they, they speak a language of their own.